All right, welcome back everyone. Our next guest may have the perfect recipe, Heidi. They have a healthy helping of food and throw on some music and you've got a great time. Oh, those are all my favorite things. Yeah. We have Lucy Cortese and Elizabeth Dorr from Italian, from the Italian American Club of Jacksonville. They're joining us today. Welcome to First Coast Living, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now Elizabeth, we are definitely gonna get cooking in this kitchen. Yes. It smells amazing, but first let's learn a little bit about the event. Okay, it's Festa Italiana and it's our 29th annual event. Wow. So if you if you've missed it, you need to come this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Definitely. It's great food, Italian music, homemade desserts, and of course, some vino. You can't have <laughs> you a can't party without that. that, right? Um, so tell me a little bit about the process. We were talking before the show, and you said you guys are going to be very busy these next couple of days because you do everything handmade. Everything is handmade. In fact, tomorrow we'll be rolling about 2,000 meatballs. <gasps> 2,000, wow. you guys. 2,000. My husband, who's... Uh, our volunteer chef most of the time and yeah. it's his special recipe he won't even tell me what's Ooh. in it <laughs> now listen that's the only secret that's okay in a marriage right that's right <laughs> recipe so why festa okay uh, october is italian american heritage month yeah and so of course monday is uh, columbus day and so we try to have our festa close to that time and we know everybody wants to be an italian so you'll be italian <laughs> for a day at Festa Italiana. I love that. Okay, so how can someone join the club and be a part of it? Okay, uh, we are a cultural organization okay. that's been around 68 years. In fact, in 1951, we started the club. So we're the oldest uh, operating ethnic organization in wow. Jacksonville. So you don't have to be Italian to join. Okay. But you, if you're interested in Italian culture and Italian food and Italian people, yeah, yeah come join us. <laughs> Well, I got a lot of uh, Italian friends that I really love. Uh, now most of them are from Jersey, so. Obviously, I'm from New Jersey, so I'm we have a Jersey girl. There too. you go. Oh my goodness, we are best friends. <laughs> An Italian spot is literally everywhere on the corner, every corner in New Jersey, right? Yeah. So love there's it. a lot of culture and um, obviously food that's you're able to enjoy. But can we go through like when and where is this festa happening? Yeah. Okay, it's this weekend. Saturday uh, from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. and then Sunday from noon to 6. Ooh, so it's a two-day so, thing. Actually, yeah, excuse don't me, 11 to 6. 11 to 6 awesome. on Sunday. And the menu will be different both days. So Saturday you can come and have lasagna and Elizabeth's lovely chicken parm that she's going to cook and it for smells us today. so good. And then Sunday we'll have eggplant parmesan and cool. uh, baked CT and uh, spaghetti and meatballs every day. That's a classic. Uh, yeah. Always uh, subs, Italian subs, and the best homemade bakery items Ooh. that you can even imagine. All right, so we're gonna head over to the kitchen felt, now, I Elizabeth. I know my stomach is growling right now. Okay, <laughs> this smells amazing. So you're making chicken parm right now. What is I your am. secret to making the best chicken parm? Making sure I use really fresh ingredients, yeah. quality ingredients, mm -hmm. and with lots of love. Lots there of love. Go. That is yes. real. That's, that's <laughs> the really the secret ingredient. Also, the ability to cook helps because I lack that, but that's right. okay. Yeah. So how do you make this? Let's let's go through the steps. Well, this is really easy. I think okay. anyone at home can do this. There you uh, go, Hattie. You just get chicken cutlets from the store. <laughs> that's going to be tried right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> and make sure that you season both sides okay. with salt and pepper. Got it. And then we're going to dredge it in some flour first. There you go. To get that crisp yes. taste. I love that. Quick and easy. And then this is Italian breadcrumbs and okay. it has panko as well because it makes it crispier. Parmesan cheese and fresh parsley. Oh, that looks so... That definitely, that, looks so that good. smells good. <laughs> and so now, should we be heating up oil at this point yes, as this we're is already? Okay. Yeah, already that's already go. hot. Yes. Okay. I've had it on just to make sure um, I've got some that I already made here yeah. so we can just drop them in the pan. There Ooh, you go. Love it. Oh, and it starts as one. Love it. That is my favorite sound, you guys. That is. Has everything to do with food. <laughs> now, can you can you go overboard with the with the crumbs, or is there are are you kind of just as much as you like? No, actually, as long as you just put it in there and you pat it down really yeah. well, and then shake the excess Make sure off. Make You don't want it to be floating all in the flour and it burn. Yeah. Noted. So, there okay. we go. Okay, so once we're doing this, we have finished a product so far, what do we do next? Yes, so this here, you just brown it on each side okay. for four minutes. You mm -hmm. don't need to cook it all the way through. Right, okay. And then once you've browned both sides, like this one here. There you go. You put it in Find this dish. Okay. And then you put your favorite marinara sauce uh, right on top. Oh yeah. Uh, mozzarella cheese, lots mm. of cheese. You can Parmesan. never have too much cheese, no, despite what anyone may tell you. <laughs> and this is fresh basil and parsley. Yeah. And then we put that in the oven, and we do it for at 425 for okay. 20 minutes. Oh, so that's oh, it's right. quick and I'll easy. I'll show you what the product yeah. looks like. All right, so she's already got one that's, that's finished. Done. We're gonna product. pulling out. 
Oh, All right, so we get this out of the way. All right. There we go. Love it. This is the finished product. <laughs> Mine. Dibs. Yeah. <laughs> just, just calling that now. <laughs> Love it. Wow, that is so good. All right, folks. Well, uh, as you can see, this is a good time with some good yes. food. You can get a second serving of this segment on our website, firstcoastliving.net.